Addie is one of many wonderful Jamaican people in my life. She came over today to talk about one of her favorite fruits, star apple, or as I say, caimito. So today we're going to talk about caimito. In some parts of the world it's known as milk fruit because it, when you open the fruit there's a milky juice that's in there. Uh, but in Jamaica it's known as something else. It's called the star apple. We don't know no caimito. It's the star apple and uh, it comes just like this in Jamaica. In, we usually get it in either green or purple but we rarely get it in this color, but either way, it's delicious. So, when you were growing up in Jamaica, you used to uh, eat a lot of, of the star apple. Yes, I would eat too much. That's the problem because of its delicious flavor, and you cannot refuse it no time at all. Did you uh, climb these trees to, to get the fruit or, or what kind, how did you get the fruit when you well, were a Growing kid? up in Jamaica, if you're not a climber, you'll starve. The neighbor had one of these trees and of course, sometimes the limb hangs over into your property or your grandmother's property and you get to steal them. And the beauty of it is the intrigue of getting the star apple by climbing the neighbor's tree and picking it. But picking it is, wasn't very easy. So, I've heard that the fruit itself in Jamaica is sometimes... Um, Pretty mean? <laughs> yes. I, I've heard that the, the star apple tree is called a mean tree. And so, is that, why do you think they had that expression? It's pretty mean because it's not like where you climb a mango tree, you can pick the fruit. You'll have to cut it from the stalk because if you do not do that, you will be pulling the fruit and uh, leaving the inside, parts of the inside on the tree and you'll have to eat the fruit right away. If not, all that white stuff that's there will be on your clothes and everyone will know that you are in the neighbor's tree. <laughs> <laughs> so the white stuff um, near the skin is, is latex and that, that can be pretty sticky. Yes. Um, in Jamaica, um, do they call this fruit the kissing fruit? Yes, they do. But for me as a child, it wasn't no kissing fruit, it was the evidence. But how it works for the kissers, that same white stuff will cover your lips and it's like a pseudo crazy glue and you'll be stuck together for a while. For a romantic evening or a short interlude of saying, I love you. So that's only when you bite into the fruit like you'd bite into an apple. Yes. When you just eat the fruit, um, if you've just picked it from the neighbor's tree or from your grandmother's tree, um, do you break it open and eat it that way or, or how do you normally eat the fruit? You break the fruit open and then there's this jelly-like substance around the seed. That's the part you eat and the kissing portion is around the side of the top of the skin towards the skin area but it's more the inside that you eat. I've also heard that in Jamaica they have a dish called matrimony where they they clean the the fruit the, the star apple and then mix it uh, with some citrus fruit especially like lemon, lemon or or ugly fruit something that's sour because the the star apple is very sweet and um, in, in a marriage you have the sweet and then the not so sweet parts. Um, what, uh, what do you think of that, that dish? I've had it before but it's like I went to a fr from a friend's home because I'm not a cook, I'm an eater. And that dish is very delicious because it teaches that you can also do other things 
with this star apple fruit other than getting it from the tree and straight to the mouth. So in Jamaica, they're known to be mixing blends of different things to come together with the perfect dish for the table. Well, that sounds great. Well, thanks very much. And we look forward to every Kaimito season, right? Exactly. You know, the, you know it. Yeah, man. <laughs>